Hello everyone, welcome back to Tara Gay Nicole. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Truly do appreciate it. I'm sorry the angle's a little weird, but I couldn't get the camera to do what I needed it to do. So I hope that this is okay. I don't want this video to be really long, but this is going to be like a check-in of what's going on with my weight loss slash declutter, how I've been tracking it through this journal I created and let's just get right into it if you're new here welcome if you're not in here you know you're already part of the what grateful gang 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 grateful gang 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 grateful gang 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 grateful gang 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 and if you're not a part of grateful gang we'd love to have you so hit that subscribe button all right so let's get into it this is invest your mind invest your health and invest in yourself so this is our Sunday weigh-ins. I did a reset in on May 1st. We were up to 333.4. Now I know this and I have no reason to lie to you. Why would I make myself that weight? That's crazy. Um, but that's what I had waited on May 1st. It's been a couple weigh-ins later and I weighed in this morning because this morning is June 4th and this is where we, we're resetting again for June and we're down to 323.8 you all I lost 9.6 pounds the goal was 5 pounds and we did 9.6 yay me very happy about that next month's goal which I will weigh in on July 2nd is another 5 pounds and usually weight loss does slow down. So four to five pounds is what I'd like. Five initially will be the main goal. And I'd like to get out of the 320s into the teens and then move our ways into the twos. Okay. So that's where we're at with that weigh in. I still have not measured a thing. Okay. This is supposed to be measured April, May, June. No, I might as well just change the dates up top. I'm sorry. And start again. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know, it's hard to measure myself. So this is my workout tracker that I created. In May, in April, I did five days of workout. One, two, three, four, five. And then in May, I actually did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven days. Go me. So I've more than doubled my amount of days of working out. Now in June, my count i'm not expecting to really get any in here too much and that's only because i went and got my ends trimmed and my haircut and and i ends trimmed and my hair pressed and if i work out it'll just go curly and i paid way too much money to have it go curly on me right away so june i'm not really going to focus too much on the workout but i'll be focusing more on the eating and then in july we'll be right back to trying to get 11 or more days um and 11 is really good because i usually go about three times a week and three times four is 12 so technically you only miss one day and then for blood work i believe my schedule um was the health screening like the free annual screening is scheduled for August so this won't get filled out till August and I'll be putting my blood work panels the normal range of what my ranges are and goal ranges when we get there oh sorry this is just my notes and brain dump pages all right so we can actually fill in something for this page pounds lost so I've lost nine pounds or nine point something pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and color in a couple of these. Actually, anybody, I don't know I want to do that. I'm just going to retrace <laughs> over the numbers in a color. Two, three, four, five. And I am going to color in my heart. So five pounds down. And then six, seven, eight, nine. And we can't color in our star yet, but hopefully by the end of the month, we will be able to color that in as well. So I'm very proud of myself. That means that I get a treat. <laughs> and this is my gifts ideas page. I've already had um, given myself a gym membership and then I canceled it. And I bought myself a Fitbit watch. Um, for just starting the process so 
I have a couple of these that I can give myself new sneakers, a food delivery service, a massage, facial, high quality face mask, which I bought myself already. So maybe I'll just give myself a face mask or skincare or makeup or something like that. Um, Smoothie King. I don't know. So I do owe myself a new gift. I'm excited. Or I could just say the Fitbit was for this gift, but I think that was just for starting. I haven't printed any progress progress pictures and I haven't printed anything for face-to-face -face pictures. I do have pictures in my phone, but I'm gonna save up, I think, for that printer I really wanted from HP that prints pictures from your phone and then put them in here when I get them. For now, I don't have anything. Um, this is my Fitbit information page, April 3rd to 9th. These were my things, but for May, I only did the 15th to the 21st and the 22nd to the 28th. On the next two pages, I'm going to create stuff for July because, like I said, I'm not going to be tracking June so much for the workout. But just so you get an idea, on the 15th to the 21st, I have 53,726 steps in that week. Average step of 7,675. Total miles in that week, 22.73. Average calories, 3,523. That's burned. Average calories burned. 192 in the active zone, minutes in the active zone. Two out of three days I created, did my workout. An average of seven hours and 19 minutes of sleep. I need to get back to that. And then eight of 11 hours of walking at least 250 steps. And my heart rate is a resting heart rate is at 71, which is amazing. Because when I started this journey, my average heart rate was 80 beats per minute. And my goal was to get into the 70s. So I'm excited about that. Anywhere between 70 and 75. So the last week of May, we have 59,853 total steps, which is more than before and then average 8,550 per day we've walked 25.35 miles 3,750 3,650 average calories burned 800 girl you wish 283 hours of active zone minutes four out of three days I did four out of three days of workout now my Fitbit will count like a full-on workout of Zumba or if I take a 15 to 20 minute walk during like the week outside so that's why and then i had six hours and 32 minutes average restful sleep it's down which i don't love and then nine of 11 hours of getting to my 250 steps and the heartbeat was about 72 beats per minute and then like i said i gotta create all that but that's pretty much the check-in for the weight loss section so let's go ahead and check in on the declutter section the declutter section is basically just a list of things that I want to declutter. So let me go through and heart some of the ones that I actually got done, if any. So we have under the kitchen cabinet. Absolutely did that. Um, master bedroom dresser, number one. The master bedroom dresser was cleared off. Master bedroom nightstand, number one and number two, were also cleared off nightstand number one number two i don't know what did i just oh yeah oh okay so these were for like clearing off the top of the dressers and then nightstand one nightstand two for inside of them which i also did and i actually also put some peel and stick in the top of both of them um clothes in the master closet have not gotten to that under the master bathroom sink that's on my to-do list for june half bathroom setup also on my to-do list for june box one in the living room we've definitely cleared out one of the boxes two of the boxes in not the living room the dining room and then i have a couple more boxes in there to go clear all the shoes i think i just need to go through all my shoes i need to just put them in one place and go and look clear the box clear the clear box in the dining room need to do that as well and get the half box items out of the dining room which is different from actually well almost the same as half bathroom setup but that's what we have right now but as you can see there are a lot clean a lot of things um that are have been hearted so I'm very proud of myself to say that I'm doing well 
Um, and these are all part of my 12 week year goals. And yeah, I feel like I'm getting it done. It does, if you've never heard of the 12 week year, it is definitely something I recommend. We're basically now in June and halfway through the year. And I will say that having the 12 week goals set up the way they're set up for me, it keeps them in front of mind which for me is very important because i feel like i have a specific even if i don't go by like every 12 weeks it's something about checking in and writing in the journal that reminds me that you have a goal and you need to get there so if you've never done the 12 week year i would strongly recommend you consider looking into it it is something that i feel is really helping me even if i don't hit my goal all the way i feel like I'm con it's constantly on my brain that you need to start working on this. You need to keep working on this. You need to keep going until the year is done. And you can always tweak and evaluate each 12 weeks. Switch it up if you got your goal completed. But that's it. Let me know what you think or if you're doing well, however you do your goals, whether they're monthly, weekly, 12-week year goals, whatever you're doing, let me know how your goals are going. How did you do for May? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, order to be great. You have to be grateful, and I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day, y'all. It's faith over fear this year, but not just this year, but wait forever, 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 ever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, ever, forever, ever, 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 